In the beginning, it was about instinct, moving from place to place, initially for survival, then to pioneer. Today, we travel because we can. On vacation, to business meetings, from point A to point B isn't just a car ride. It's a train, it's a plane, and soon even a space flight away. But what about efficiency? There's a gap between imagination and actualization. You can go anywhere on Earth, anywhere. Like, you can actually go to like, the top of Mount Everest. There's no place you can't go, anywhere. So I think we've explored the boundaries, at least the physical boundaries of Earth, quite thoroughly. So you're describing how we can go anywhere on Earth now, but the methods with which we use to get there, do you think they're efficient? The most important thing that needs to happen is the transition of transportation to electric. The ideal long distance transportation uh, mechanism is a supersonic vertical takeoff and landing electric jet. And then there's a special case of cities which have a lot of travel between them below about 500 miles of distance where um, I think the Hyperloop would be useful. It is a special case solution because once the distances get, get long, then the amount of time that an aircraft takes to as ascend and land, which is most of what it does in a 500 mile trip, that percentage declines and then it's better to just use aircraft. I know that there are various companies that are trying to create uh, the Hyperloop and uh, honestly I think it's a lot easier than, than people think. The blueprints are pretty complicated. Well, blueprints are always kind of complicated and I mean yes there's math, <laughs> but it's really not that hard. It still sounds pretty complicated, Elon. It's like a tube with an air hockey table. It's just a low pressure tube with a pod in it that uh, runs on, 